I'm editorial director Jason Snell. With me is Tech Hive editor Philip Michaels. Hi, Phil. Hi, Jason. So, Facebook just spent $2 billion buying Oculus, a product yes. and a company that nobody has ever actually bought anything from yet. Yes, they uh, they spent two Instagrams to buy Oculus, <laughs> or, or one-eighth of a WhatsApp. Yeah, it's amazing. So, it, Oculus... Uh, is making this uh, VR headset called Rift, which is uh, gamers are really excited about. It, it's a set of goggles, essentially, you put on, and then you're in virtual reality, like in all those movies from the 90s, where you you turn your head and uh, your perspective changes as if you were in the middle of that scene, but it's actually just in your vision on, uh, on this headset. Um, Facebook, I, I'm not surprised that somebody bought Oculus. Sony uh, showed their version of the Oculus Rift and it, it you get the sense like this is going to be a big deal, people are going to spend a lot of money uh, true sort of VR stuff may actually be here, so I'm not surprised somebody bought Oculus I'm a little surprised that it was Facebook, are you? Uh, very surprised that it was Facebook. As you say, uh, virtual reality headsets, it seemed like you couldn't uh, turn your head last week without running into news about them uh, from Sony showing off uh, I guess it's called Project Morpheus which is the greatest name ever for a, a tech product. Well, uh, it is a Matrix reference, I guess. Yes. Uh, Oculus, of course, came out with the second version uh, SDK of its, uh, of its headset last week, and even Microsoft was talking about doing something for, for its gaming efforts. So, obviously, a big area in gaming. Uh, Facebook, uh, heretofore, its, its efforts in gaming have been involving farms and poker and uh, uh, not the sort of thing you need the fancy, the fancy headset for. So... Everyone that I've talked to about this story this afternoon is just sort of boggled as to um, as to what uh, what Facebook has in store for this this product. Well, if you read Mark Zuckerberg's post about it, what he I'm says, I'm reading that right now. Yeah, it it, it gets it, it's a real sense of sort of we have no other worlds to conquer. That they feel like they've got their mobile strategy under control, and they wanna they don't want to have to struggle with what's next, like they struggled going from the web to to mobile. And so they want to invest in what they think of as a future platform. And so, you know, they're really taking this seriously. They think that virtual reality for uh, not just social networking and gaming even, but for entertainment in general, you know, one of the things he mentions is sitting courtside at a basketball game. And, and you know, you'd have a, a 3D camera there and you'd just be sitting there like you were in the seats. So they, they definitely see this as... You know, Facebook's got a lot of money. It's mostly in stock that they're actually spending for this, right. and and they think this is the future, uh, a future of this medium, and they want to own some key technology here. So I don't think seeing Facebook pages in th in uh, 3D surrounding you is what's going to happen. But they they definitely have a vision. It's almost like sci-fi novelish. In fact, Mark Zuckerberg's post mentions sci-fi, and if you look back at Ready Player One or further back to a book like Snow Crash or Neuromancer. You know, maybe a little bit of that is actually getting closer to us with something like Oculus. Yeah, I uh, was talking about this with our our social media uh, expert Caitlin McGarry, and and I mentioned is there a is there a play with the the news feed that they could uh, work Oculus into? And and she looked at me like I was crazy because and that happens a lot. But <laughs> I think I think you're right. I think this is um, uh, Facebook like Alexander having no more worlds to conquer. So in, instead of weeping, they're going to spend uh, 400 billion in cash or 400 million in cash and and a bunch of stock options to to try and carve out this this new area. Yeah, so this is definitely Facebook looking at the future and I definitely saw a lot of reactions on social media by people groaning because I think people were really excited about this being a, a new up-and-coming company with a lot of cool technology and John Carmack, uh, formerly of id Software, came on as the CTO which gave it a whole lot of extra credibility and now everybody's sort of rolling their eyes and saying, oh, Facebook. But uh, on the plus side, Oculus is going to have a backer with deep pockets sure. and they may not get swamped by somebody like Sony um, it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Uh, Phil, thank you very much for talking about Oculus. Absolutely, Jason. Looking forward to finding out more as this story develops. Absolutely.